Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Royal Decree 83 of 2021, appointing the following five heads of Bahrain's diplomatic missions. Dr. Mohammed Ghassan Mohammed Adnan Sheikho was appointed as Bahrain's Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary to China. Ahmed Abdul Al Hamasi Al Hajri was appointed as Bahrain's Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary to Indonesia. Muna Abbas Mahmud Radi was appointed as Bahrain's Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary to Thailand. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa was appointed as Bahrain's Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary to France. Bada Abbas Al was appointed as Bahrain's Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary to Brazil. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on a throne day anniversary. His Majesty expressed his best wishes of good health and happiness to His Majesty King Mohammed VI and of progress and prosperity to the Moroccan people under his wise leadership. His Majesty healed the deep rooted relations between the two countries and their people and their continuous progress. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today the Foreign Affairs Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Makdum Shah Mahmoud Qureshi, in Safriya Palace, who is visiting the Kingdom to participate in the Bahrain Pakistan Joint Committee meeting. His Majesty affirmed the depth of relations between Bahrain and Pakistan, which are based on mutual respect, trust, and cooperation. His Majesty welcomed Minister Qureshi, who conveyed to him the greetings and appreciation of the President of Pakistan, Arif Alvi, and Prime Minister Imran Khan, and their wishes of further progress and prosperity to the people of Bahrain. His Majesty asked Minister Qureshi to convey his greetings to the Pakistani President and Prime Minister and to the friendly people of Pakistan, and his wishes of further development and prosperity. His Majesty praised the results of the Joint Bahrain-Pakistan Committee meeting, which will play a vital role in developing bilateral relations at all levels. He also commended the course of bilateral relations in light of the two countries' efforts to further bolster them. His Majesty noted the role and contributions of the Pakistani community to the development of Bahrain. During the meetings, regional and international topics of mutual interest were discussed. For his part, the Pakistani Foreign Affairs Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his kind reception, noting His Majesty's support to the distinguished relations between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received the Foreign Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Makdum Shah Mahmoud Qureshi, on the sidelines of an official visit in which led a delegation of the Bahraini Pakistan Joint Ministerial Committee. At the start of the meeting, His Royal Highness welcomed the Minister to Bahrain before exchanging the greetings of the President of Pakistan, Dr. Arif Alvi, Prime Minister Imran Khan, and His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness then underlined the importance of strengthening bilateral relations, including cooperation against COVID-19, which requires strong coordination and solidarity from the international community. For his part, the Minister expressed his appreciation for the support exerted by His Royal Highness towards strengthened bilateral and COVID-19 cooperation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Aziani, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, His Excellency Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, were also in attendance. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received the US a Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defence for the Middle East, Dana Stroll, at Rifa Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of furthering the strategic partnership between Bahrain and the United States to serve the common interests of both countries. He noted the depth of Bahrain-US cooperation, which has witnessed continued development, particularly within the fields of military and defence. His Royal Highness welcomed Stroll's visit to Bahrain, commending the role of the US in furthering regional security and stability. Regional and international issues of common interest were also discussed. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The 
the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the General Sports Authority, the GSA and Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated the new administrative headquarters of Galali Sports Centre, constructed by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs, in cooperation with the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning. The opening ceremony was attended by the Deputy President of the GSA and Chairman of Bahrain Martial Arts Council, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the GSA CEO, Dr. Abdurrahman Sadiq Asghar, the President of Galali Club, Juma Sharida, and several club members. His Highness toured the building and its facilities, which comprises of three storeys, and was built at a cost of 700,000 Bahraini dinars. He noted the support of His Majesty the King, which helped develop sports in the Kingdom. He also noted the interest of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in this field through a number of projects implemented by the government. His Highness hailed the efforts of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and his role in implementing the directives of His Majesty the King to further develop sports. He added that this project will help develop the performance of the club and will increase the chances of investment to turn it into a commercial company. His Highness praised the efforts of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs and the Ministry of Works in implementing the project, wishing the club president and members further success and progress. The Minister of Interior, Sheikh General Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received the Foreign Minister of Pakistan, Shah Mahmoud Qureshi, in the presence of the Chief of Public Security, Tariq Al Hassan. The meeting commenced with an exchange in points of view between the two countries, as the Interior Minister praised the deep rooted bilateral ties. The meeting also discussed the ways in which these ties can be further enhanced in the fields of anti terrorism, safeguarding stability, anti drug and human traffic, and other matters of mutual interest. The Kingdom of Bahrain has been highly ranked in the field of human trafficking, which is marked by an event that commemorates the World Day against trafficking in persons. The Kingdom has long proven itself to be a pioneer in the field of combating human trafficking. This remains to be the case under the extraordinary conditions of the coronavirus pandemic, whereby the Kingdom has been ranked in the first category of countries for the fourth year in a row, as per the annual report by the US State Department. In this regard, the Criminal Investigation Directorate held a virtual security conference to mark the World Day Against Trafficking in Persons, which was attended by senior officials and other relevant parties. What has been achieved by the Kingdom of Bahrain as per the US State Department's report and the efforts taken by the world's countries in combating human trafficking, whereby the Kingdom was ranked in the first category for four years in a row. This is a result of the efforts of all relevant parties through the National Committee for Combating Human Trafficking, as well as a member of the Interior Ministry in that committee, as represented by the Anti-Human Trafficking and Protection of Public Morality Directorate and the Criminal Investigation Directorate. These parties are the committee's main actors, thanks to the expertise and the support of the Interior Minister, in order to develop the skills of this directorate, in addition to enhancing societal participation and interacting with the people by establishing the hotline 555, through which complaints and reports can be conveyed to ensure a rapid response and social participation. These efforts enjoy international recognition and appreciation that are involved in combating human trafficking, which go against all international norms and the teachings of all religions. The International Organization for Migration praises the efforts of the Kingdom of Bahrain in combating human trafficking. We congratulate the Kingdom for attaining the first category in the US State Department report for four years. 
This is an achievement to be emulated and is based on long-standing efforts by various state institutions and the partnership with international organisations on migration. Our role as an organisation for migration is to communicate the best practices in this regard and we hope to continue to cooperate with the Kingdom. The Kingdom's achievement proves the wisdom of its leadership and its king and the unity of its government as headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. There are institutions that work together to achieve the same goal and the people of Bahrain is tolerant and faithful. When it deals with human trafficking, it does not so based on politics or publicity but on its faith in God and tolerance and coexistence. This achievement represents a culmination of the national efforts to which the Anti-Human Trafficking and Protection of Public Morality Directorate has taken part by applying the law and developing the required skills to preemptively identify victims of such crimes and raising awareness of the dangers in order to ensure the society remains free of human trafficking. The Kingdom of Bahrain will join the international community in marking the World Day Against Trafficking in Persons as it continues to prove its success in this field with its serious endeavours to counter such a phenomenon and become a role model in fighting such a crime by international standards. And to talk more about this, we are joined by Captain Abdullah Yosef Bataish from the Ministry of Interior. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Can you tell us more about the efforts and the major achievements of the Kingdom of Bahrain against trafficking in persons? Thank you. Uh, I am pleased to extend my sincere thanks and appreciation to you for giving me the opportunity to participate and speak on this important occasion, which is the International Day to Combat Human Trafficking and to review the efforts of the Ministry of Interior to combat the scourge, as well as the Ministry of Interior's celebration of this occasion. It must be noted that the Ministry of Interior, represented by the Directorate of Combating Human Trafficking and the Protection of Public Morals and the General Directorate of Crime Detection and Forensic Science, is making outstanding efforts in the field of confronting the crime of human trafficking. Through continuous cooperation and coordination with competent agencies, such as, such as Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, LMRA, Nationality Passports and Residence Affairs, and other relevant authorities regarding receiving reports and exchanging information necessary to combat human trafficking. In addition to the intensive presence of research and investigation personnel in places where this crime may occur. It also works to train and develop the skills and capabilities of employees in the directorate to methods of proactive detection of victims, in addition to its permanent cooperation with international organizations through intensive meetings, conferences, and seminars. It also strives to educate society about the dangers of this crime by launching several campaigns through various media, as well as distributing multilingual, multilingual and educational brochures. I am also pleased to take this opportunity to extend the most sincere congratulations and blessings to the wise leadership of the kingdom headed by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of the Kingdom of Bahrain, and His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince and Prime Minister. On the occasion of the Kingdom maintaining its position in the first category in the U.S. Department of State report on the classification of countries in the field of combating human trafficking for four years in a row. This great international achievement came first as a result of the directors of His Majesty the King and his great vision and his keenness to establish the rules of equality and the promotion of human rights for all citizens and residents of the kingdom, without discrimination, which reflects the extent of the continuous efforts made by all parties in the kingdom of Bahrain, especially the Ministry of Interior under the leadership of His Excellency General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Minister of Interior to consolidate the values of human rights without discrimination based on religion, language, or ethnicity, as well as an actual translation of the policies and directions of the Ministry of Interior in this field. The Ministry celebrated this international occasion in a manner that illustrates the extent of efforts exerted in this field. The celebration included several important events, including the establishment of a virtual security seminar under the patronage and participation of His Excellency the Chief of Public Security, in which experts from inside and outside the Kingdom of Bahrain participated, such as the International Organization for Migration and Naif Arab University for Security Sciences, the Arab Organization for Security Sciences, as well as the UN UNODC and the Arab Office on Drugs and Organized Crime. In addition to some internal bodies, 
such as the LMRA and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Evangelical Church in the Kingdom of Bahrain, in order to review all international and national efforts to combat this crime. In addition to printing and distributing some publications in several languages in order to educate communities residing in the kingdom about this crime. As well as conducting press, radio and television interviews with specialists from the Ministry of Interior to shed light on the efforts of the Ministry of Interior in combating this crime. In the end, I have the honor to extend my highest thanks and appreciation to His Excellency General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa Minister of Interior for his continuous support and valuable guidance, and to His Excellency Lieutenant General Arif bin Hassan Al Hassan, Chief of Public Security, as well as His Excellency the Director of General Directorate of Crime Detection and Forensic Science, for his continuous support for us to perform our mission to the fullest. Thank you so much. And that was Captain Abdullah Yosef Batesh from the Ministry of Interior. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Ziani, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Pakistan, Maktoum Shah Mahmoud Qureshi, upon his visit to the Kingdom to participate in the second meeting of the Bahraini Pakistan Joint Ministerial Committee. Minister Al Ziani welcomed his counterpart, noting the hosting of the Ministerial Committee meeting, which will bolster the deep rooted historic bilateral relations. He also noted the development of relations across various fields in light of the support they received from the leaderships of both countries. Al Ziani reviewed the efforts exerted to further bolster cooperation to benefit both countries and their people. He also highlighted the importance of intensifying cooperation at the economic, commercial and investment levels. For his part, Minister Qureshi expressed pleasure in visiting the Kingdom to head his country's delegation to the meeting affirming Pakistan's keenness on bolstering cooperation with the Kingdom in all fields. He also expressed pride in the course of bilateral relations that are based on mutual respect and appreciation. He also praised the vital role of the Kingdom in maintaining the region's security and stability, wishing the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. The second Bahrain-Pakistan joint ministerial meeting was chaired by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Ziani, along with his Pakistani counterpart, Maktoum Shah Mahmoud Qureshi. Dr. Al Ziani praised the bilateral ties and affirmed the importance of high-level visits between the two sides in strengthening them. He also praised the contributions of the Pakistani community in Bahrain, which has been looked after during the pandemic, thanks to the Royal Directives. For his part, Qureshi expressed thanks to Dr. Al Ziani's hospitality and praised the deep-rooted bilateral ties based on mutual interests. He affirmed the importance of further developing the economic ties. The two sides discussed various avenues for cooperation, including politics, economics, finance, health and technology. They also discussed MOUs between the Pakistani Commercial Authority and the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, along with industrial cooperation and holding meetings in various fields, including agriculture, investment, labour, oil and gas, technology and higher education. An MOU was signed between the Economic Development Board and the Pakistani Council for Investment. The Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Hamidan, participated in a virtual meeting of the second phase of youth programme organised by the Bahrain Institute for Political Development. The Minister affirmed that the programme is an implementation of royal directives and the aspirations of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, offering the youth an opportunity to participate in planning the future. He also affirmed the youth also enjoy the keen support of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He praised the youth's engagement and appreciated the Ministry's interest in the labour market. Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, BCCI, participated in the International Economic Summit in Russia, where BCCI signed two MOUs with Tartistan's Chamber, with the aim of reinforcing Bahrain's role as a centre for marketing Russian products in the region. In this regard, the chairman of BCCI, Samir Nas, affirmed the importance of bolstering commercial relations and cooperation with Russia at all levels to make Bahrain a re-export in the Gulf region and North Africa, referring to the commercial potential of the business community in Bahrain and its counterpart in Tatarstan. Wow. 
The National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus announced that the effectiveness of the booster dose has been confirmed based on medical indicators and statistics. The task force noted that 131,192 individuals had received a booster dose by the 27th of July. Of those who have received the booster dose, only 71 individuals, 0.05%, contracted COVID-19, 14 days after the dose was administered. None of the individuals who were infected with the virus 14 days after taking the booster dose required hospital treatment. This suggests that the booster dose is effective at relieving the severity of symptoms, which may sometimes lead to death. The task force urged citizens and residents to take the vaccination to enhance community immunity and safeguard public health. Booster shots have been attributed to significantly reduced deaths as zero deaths and hospitalizations were recorded in Bahrain for individuals after two weeks of receiving a booster dose. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,105,717 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,049,663 had taken the second and 132,257 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 892 with 74 recoveries, 115 registered new cases and no deaths. 36 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 63 are contacts of active cases and 16 are travel-related. There are currently three cases in a critical condition. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.